when using 811A type tube amplifiers there's always one thing to consider when operating is make sure that the tubes don't get overheated this is one of the main things that we see in our service department is we get 811 in that have been overheated the reasons for this is, is if you run too much power through the amplifier or if you go over your five second time limit during tune-up the other thing is, is if you have a SWR on your antenna that is more than two to one this also will cause stress on the tubes and cause them to overheat a view of a good working 811 tube is like what you see here the uh, plate of the tube is a tubular thing that hangs inside the tube it has a fin that runs down each side of it the notice that the plate is all one color it's all uniform and it's normally a dull gray uh, color if you have a tube that begins to overheat you will notice that a silver spot will begin to form on the side of the tube like you're seeing here and as the tube gets hotter and hotter the gray the silver will begin to get larger it tends to burn the gray coating off the plate of the tube now the tube also can get to the point where as it can burn the silver off and it'll start to be turn brown and if the tube gets hot at a very fast rate the glass of the tube can also get soft and the vacuum will suck a hole through the glass now if you notice if your tubes have this silver spot on it this means the tube is no longer a under warranty it voids the warranty of the tube because damage is due to overheating hopefully this will give you some ideas of what to look for when you're inspecting your tubes in the top of the tube you have two springs which is, supports the filament when you receive the amplifier or your tubes always look to make sure the springs are intact and the plate is in straight and everything looks like it's all together and you see nothing rolling around inside the tube here is a view of a good tube uh, noticed on all sides of the plate as it's rotated it, it's all uniform and in all the same color okay also as in the bottom of the tube around the base they pull a vacuum on it and it gives off a mercury tint to the glass of your tube sometimes the seal of the tube uh, could leak and it'll begin to lose its vacuum whereas the gray part of the tube will actually disappear and leave like a white residue now if you see that and the plate of the tube does not show any discoloring or anything that tube can be covered under warranty just consult the distribution that you purchased the amplifier from or the location you purchased the tubes from to get those tubes covered under warranty for you